Paranasal air sinuses, it is a species found in the bone of the skull and it is formed by absorption of the deep blue between inner and outer tables of the skull. They are filled by air due to their communications with the nasal cavity. The bones which contain the paranasal sinuses, number one, sphenoid bone, number two, frontal bone, three, maxillary bone, and four, ethmoid bone. The nasal sinuses are lined by mucoperiosteum to increase the surface area of the nasal mucosa. The nasal sinuses are rudimentary at time of birth, but starts to enlarge after eighth year and completely form it in the adult. This is the skull, and this is the bones which contain air sinuses. This is the frontal bone and the frontal air sinus. This is the maxillary bone, and this is the maxillary air sinus. And this is the ethmoid bone, and this is the ethmoidal air sinuses. The sphenoid bone lies inside and containing sphenoidal air sinus. The functions of air sinus, number one, lightening the weight of the skull due to filling of the sinus by air. Number two, increase the resonance of the voice. Number three, increase the surface area of the nasal mucosa. So warming the air before entering the lungs. Number four, clears the inspired air from the dust by mucus produced by glands in the mucous membrane and moved towards the nose by ciliary action of the columnar cells. Start by sphenoidal air sinus. There are two sphenoidal air sinuses, one present on inside the body of the sphenoid, one on each side. H1 opens in the sphenoethmoidal recess above the superior concha. Nerve supply posterior ethmoidal nerve. The relation of the sphenoid air sinus it is related to pituitary gland above and the cavernous sinus on each side. This is the sphenoid bone, butterfly. This is the body of the sphenoid containing the sphenoidal air sinus one on each side. From above, there is hypophysial fossa or pituitary fossa containing the pituitary gland. At each side of the sinus, there is cavernous sinus. Maxillary air sinus is present inside the body of the maxilla. The walls of the maxillary sinus roof separates the sinus from the orbit and contains the infraorbital canal. The floor of the maxillary sinus is formed by alveolar process of the maxilla. The medial wall separates the sinus from the nasal cavity. The anterior wall shows infraorbital foramen. The posterior wall is pierced mainly by posterior superior alveolar nerve and vessels. The nerve supply of the maxillary air sinus from infraorbital and the superior alveolar nerve. This is the maxillary air sinus. Opens in the side wall of the nose. The orbit roof. The oral cavity floor of the sinus. Frontal air sinus, it lies in the frontal bone just above the root of the nose. It is consists of right and left cavities separated by septum. Irregular in shape and extends upward above the medial end of eyebrow and backwards to the medial part of the roof of the orbit. It opens in the middle meters of the nose. Nerve supply from the superior orbital nerve. This is frontal sinus and this is sphenoidal air sinus. This is radiology of these two sinuses. Ethmoidal air sinus are a great number of intercommunicating cavities present inside the ethmoid bone which intervenes between the orbit and the nose. These cavities are divided into anterior middle and posterior sinuses. It is separated from the orbit by thin bone, so infection can easily spread from the sinuses into the orbit. The nerve supply from anterior 
and posteroethmoidal nerves. The opening of the nasal sinuses in the lateral wall of the nose. Number one, sphenoid sinus opens in the sphenoethmoidal recess, lies above the superior conch. The posteroethmoidal sinus opens in the superior meatus. The middle meatus shows the following. Number one, there is polaethmoidalis, a rounded eminence bounded below by curved groove called the hiatus semilunaris. This is hiatus semilunaris and this is polaethmoidalis. And contain the opening of the following sinuses. Middle ethmoidal sinus opens in the polaethmoidalis. Then frontal sinus opens in the hiatus semilunaris. Anteroethmoidal sinus opens also in hiatus semilunaris. Maxillary air sinus opens also in hiatus semilunaris. Nasolacrimal duct opens in the inferior meatus. And this is the third wall of the nose and the openings. This is bolla ethmoidalis and this is hiatus semilunaris. This is superior meatus for posterior ethmoidal cells. Sphenoethmoidal recess for sphenoidal air sinus. Then superior meatus for posterior ethmoidal air cells. The remaining sinus is open in the middle meatus and the nasolacrimal duct opens in the inferior meatus.